This is a special review from Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. Sorry for not doing an actual introduction to what I'm going to review, but welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, better known as the Big D. Uh, don't mind the way hair, I just got out of the shower this morning. As I decided to do a real quick little brief review of a little requested vid. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, one of my fellow subscribers, Hobbs Horror, I do believe that's who want me to do this. I decided to do this for him. I'm going to bring to you a brief review of the 1993 made for television anime a fantasy drama, The Halloween Tree. The Halloween Tree premiered on ABC originally in 1993. Now, the special, which was originally produced by Hanna Barbera, based on Ray Bradbury's 1972 book of the same name, it tells the story of a group of trick of, uh, of trick or treating children, excuse me, who learn about the origins and influences of Halloween when one of their friends is spirited away by mysterious forces. Now, this has two well-known cast stars. Leonard Nimoy, you know him, Mr. Spock of Star Trek fame, plays the children's guide, Mr. M Mountshroud. While the narration for the story was done by the actual author of the book himself, Mr. Ray Bradbury. Now, I think I might have kind of glimpsed this a long time ago, but it's been a long time. So this could have been a first time watch. So I'm going to try to keep this review just brief and what have you, and not give the, give the whole thing away. Now we start out in a small American town's preparations for Halloween night. Well, uh, small American towns, they're preparing for Halloween night. I'm sorry, I don't want to try and... I'm sorry I'm going a little rapid fire, so bear with me, everyone. Now, four friends are shown at their respective homes, donning costumes excitedly. There's Jenny, who's dressed as a witch, Ralph, dressed as a mummy, Wally as a monster, and Tom as a skeleton, because, well, his last name is actually Skeleton. So, they plan to meet up with their best friend, Pipkin, Joe Pipkin, that is, but he doesn't appear. As they go to his house, they see him being lured into an ambulance with his parents riding along with him. And he left a note for them explaining that he was going to the hospital for an emergency appendectomy. And that they should celebrate with him. They feel like they couldn't start Halloween with him, so they follow the ambulance to visit him at the hospital, Tom suggests they take a shortcut through the spooky woods. The dark and eerie ravine. And well, and they see what looks like a translucent version of Pip running along the trail. So, they race after him and apparently Pip disappears near a towering and darkened mansion. And soon, they are greeted, in, well, once they're inside, by Carapace Clavicle Mound Shroud. He expresses disappointment that none of the children know what their costumes symbolize. Yes, yeah, so, he reveals that he is after the ghost of Pip, as he seeks and steals a pumpkin with his face carved into it, from his Halloween tree of jack-o'-lanterns. So, so Tom begs Mount Shroud to, to let them come with him and help them bring their friend back. But he initially refuses, but relents. If they can help well him out by keeping up with him before dawn, they might be they might be able to retrieve the pumpkin and get Pip back. We'll also go on a scavenger hunt of sorts to learn about the significance of their costumes and the origins of Halloween. They begin their pursuit. Traveling back through time, and that's when the fun begins. Now, I'll try not to give too much more of the story, but I will tell you where they get to go. Where they go to ancient Egypt, to 
Stonehenge during the Dark Ages of England. Let's see, and and then to France, to the well, the unfinished Notre Dame Cathedral, and in Mexico. Uh, yes, where they get to well during the Day of the Dead. But however. Something does go happen, though, but I will not reveal that a little bit, though. You're just going to have to see the movie. Uh, now, apparently... Wait. I'd say give this film a shot. It's, I, did, I wasn't aware it was over an hour, which is why I watched it last night, so I decided to do this special review so quickly, excuse me. But nevertheless, Mr. Nimoy was absolutely great as Mount Shroud, and Mr. Bradbury was great as our narrator. The rest of the voice acting cast was real good. And I have to say, well, I've never read the book, but the story sounded pretty darn interesting. But anyway, after this aired on ABC, it was an often featured on the, the new addition to cable TV Cartoon Network during the Halloween season. I guess I just didn't notice this. So anyway. So anyway, that's all I can tell you. But after this, the film actually won... The 1994 Emmy for Outstanding Writing in an Animated Program, and was nominated for Outstanding Animated Program. Anyway, it has been released on video cassette and DVD as well. It was actually released through the Warner Archive in 2012, then four years later, available to buy exclusively from Warner on video, now Warner Bros. Home Entertainment. So. From what I've seen of this now, after watching it, the Halloween train was not bad. I absolutely did enjoy it. So would I recommend it? I would say yes. Give it a shot. Anyway, so what did you think of the Halloween tree? Please tell me in the comment section below. And if you like this video, click the like button below. Subscribe to my channel as well. And be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned because later on... Today, expect a review of Disney's classic Hocus Pocus come out, as I mentioned in my last vid, but which was a horror movie. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this, see these other Halloween movies or specials. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, which unfortunately is no longer being shown on TV now. In the upper Ryan Corn is Halloween with the New Adams Family from 1977, featuring most of the cast members of the original Adams Family TV series. And as a little bonus, just for fun, see my Saturday morning TV log for the Adams Family cartoon series, which happened to be on ABC at the time this special aired. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.